Well, when a Raleigh musician needed a kidney, a friend of a friend offered to donate hers. The offer led to a kidney transplant chain stretching from the Triangle all the way to Denmark. Yeah, CBS 17's Maggie Newland has a closer look at how technology and generosity saved three lives across the world. But I keep staring at my phone. When Jason Adamo sings, you can hear his passion for his music. Pictures show his love for his family. But for the past couple of years, polycystic kidney disease left Jason weak and exhausted. I, I could barely get off the couch. He needed a transplant and knew his best bet was finding a living donor. At the time, he didn't know Jenna Kovacic or that she was already going through the process to become a kidney donor at Duke, the same hospital treating him. A mutual friend connected them, and Jenna offered to donate her kidney to Jason. It felt right, yeah, right, like right from the get-go. But just days before the scheduled surgery, they learned Jenna's kidney wasn't a perfect match. Oh, it was devastating at first. Meanwhile, across the ocean in Denmark, Peter Wichmann wanted to donate his kidney to his friend Morten Berktoft, but they didn't match either. It seemed like there, there wasn't going to be any kidney for, for Morten's. Then something called a kidney exchange ended up helping all of them. When someone wants to donate to a specific person but isn't a match, they can donate to someone else who needs a kidney. The Alliance for Paired Kidney Donation uses an algorithm to create transplant chains, which may require several patients and donors to find compatible matches. We're able to identify the best matches for each pair. In this case, Jenna donated her kidney to someone in Colorado. Their loved one donated a kidney to Morton, who flew to the U.S. for the surgery, along with Peter, who donated his kidney to Jason. It was already mind-blowing, but to hear that my kidney was coming from Denmark was, you know, it was amazing. Three months after the surgeries, the donors and recipients are all doing well and got a chance to talk to each other during a virtual meeting. See how good Jason is doing now. That, that's all worth it. Not only are they healthy, but they've formed friendships they'd never imagined. Even though the paired exchange wasn't our initial plan, it worked out so great. With generosity that spanned the world. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News. That's incredible. It's amazing how technology can help just, so many people around the world. Yeah, just change, really changes yeah. everything. Love it.